Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, I'm going to give you a full video walk around on our 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer automatic hatchback. As you can see the car presents very nicely in metallic silver. Starting on the front bar and the bonnet, as we move in nice and close, you'll notice that there's no major damage across the front here. Any stone chips that you can see have been touched up so they won't spread any further. Very good condition all the way across the front with no major scrapes even on the bottom of the front bar there as well. Having a look down the driver's side of the car, as you can see, metallic paint really shining through when the sun hits it. And you've also got no dents, no scrapes down any of these panels. They are 16 inch steel wheels with very good Yokohama tyres on there. Heaps of tread left on that. Got the clear side indicators. As you can see, very, very clean through the paintwork here with no major dents as I said before. Again, another very good tyre on the back. As we move around to the back, you'll see just how much room this hatch has got. Even the rear bar itself, as you move into here, all the badges are all in place. Across the top of the rear bar here, there's no scratches even from putting things in, in and out of the back of the car there. Been very well kept by the previous owner. Moving around to the passenger side, again, having a look down that side, no damage, no dents, not even the small shopping trolley ones you get from at the supermarket. Moving around, if you want to be really hard, there's a tiny little mark just here on the bar, tiniest little mark. Hub cap on this wheel, which is generally the one that hits the gutter the most, is in excellent condition. And again, rest of the panels down through here, both the passenger doors, excellent condition. Very, very good tyres all round on this car. Great value in the fact that you won't have to worry about replacing them for quite some time. And as you can see, for an example of the Lancer on the outside, this is certainly a 9 out of 10 in condition. Definitely a credit to the previous owner. Moving under the bonnet of the Lancer now, the first thing you'll notice is that the latch is very easy to find right in the centre, just above the Mitsubishi badge. And considering the size of the bonnet, it is also very lightweight as well. Under here you'll find Mitsubishi's famous 2 litre Myvec 4 cylinder engine. Puts out an impressive 113 kilowatts of power. And what's probably more impressive is the fuel economy in the automatic is rated at 8.3 litres per 100 k's driven. And when you mix that with the service intervals on this car, which are only due every 15,000 k's, it certainly makes it a very economical car to own and run. Moving into the back of the Lancer hatch now, the first thing you'll see is that the handle is very easy to find directly underneath the Mitsubishi badge. And you really don't have to lift it up very much for those twin gas struts to take the hatch up the rest of the way. As you can see in the back here, you've got the original parcel shelf. This is excellent for when the hatch is closed. Anything you've got in the back of the car, it does cover, so very good privacy. And as you can see in the back here as well, lots and lots of space. All the carpets throughout are really well kept with no major damage. Anchor points for the baby seats are on the back of these rear seats, which means there's no loss of space for the straps off the back of the baby car seat either. And you'll also notice this false floor here, which covers up your space saver spare wheel, is also able to fold down and create a little bit of extra space. Nice and easy to do, and even on the way back up, again, very simple to use. Another thing to show you on this car would be removing the parcel shelf, which is nice and easy to do. Once you take that out, you've also got these handles on the side in the back here, which if you pull those, does release those back seats down. And as you can see, really simple and very versatile setup in the Lancer hatchback, maximising the amount of space inside the car as well. Sitting inside the Lancer, I've got the car running now to show you all the internal features this car has to offer. Starting on the driver's door panel over here, you've got the electrics to all four windows, the window lock to stop the kids in the back from playing with them, and also the controls for the electric mirrors left and right. On the dash behind the steering wheel, you've got your button for your automatic stability control, part of the safety systems that make this a five-star ANCAP safety rated car. On the steering wheel, you've got your factory cruise control. On the right-hand stalk, you've got your headlights and indicators. Left-hand stalk, you've got your windscreen wipers and also the wiper for the rear windscreen, being that it's a hatch, it's got one at the back there as well. In behind the steering wheel, you'll see it's got the updated speedo dials. Very easy to read, white illuminated numbers, and also got your red LED display in the center there, showing your fuel gauge, what gear you're in, and 
the odometer sitting at just over 52,000 Ks. Moving across to the center of the console area now, you'll see you've also got a red LED display at the top which shows you the clock and also the radio settings and CD settings when you're listening to the CDs. It is an MP3 compatible CD player, all in dash and good quality sound straight from the factory. You'll see the dash is broken up with this metallic grey uh, center garnish here as well. Nice split from the top to the bottom. And as you move down, you've got all your air conditioning controls. Very easy to use with the direction of air on the left hand side with the rear windscreen demister, air conditioning and fan speed, and also temperature of air over here with the recirculated air too. Good amount of storage in front of the gear stick there, and you've also got auxiliary inputs down underneath there as well. Power outlet, factory ashtray, automatic transmission, which is a constantly variable transmission, meaning it's very, very smooth changing through the gears. And you've also got the Tiptronic mode here off to the right hand side, meaning you can change through the gears as you please as well. Little storage compartment here, and also twin cup holders underneath the lid there. Got a small centre console across here. Still a decent amount of space down inside there. As we move our way across the rest of the dash over here, you'll see it's all been very well kept with no scratches across here and across the top of the dash and also the glove box itself. Moving on to the passenger door card, you can see very, very well kept. No scratches or marks on there. Cloth interior. Really nice setup from Mitsubishi with the black with the white stitching. Breaks up the colour a bit and definitely been really well looked after with no major wear and tear there either. Black carpet's also in excellent condition. Moving into the back you'll also see the passenger side there. You've got plenty of room in behind the driver's seat. And also the back seat here you can see really hasn't been used and is very very well cared for. As I mentioned before, it is a 5-star ANCAP safety rated car, has got your ABS brakes, automatic stability control, you've also got an airbag in the steering wheel, one in the passenger side dash, you've got one in each of the two front seats, and you've also got your full curtain airbags, which range right from the front here, all the way through to the second row occupants as well. Very, very safe car to be in. Another way you can tell this car's been really well looked after is the fact that the previous owner has supplied us with both of the original remote central locking keys. And as you can see, this has only got minimal wear on it, and this one still looks brand new, so probably been the spare. Got the full book cover here. All the standard material from the factory. Got the large owner's manual there, service and warranty booklet, and the other papers that come with the car from brand new. Inside here, I can actually confirm that it is a one owner vehicle. And as I mentioned under the bonnet there, it is due for servicing every 15,000 Ks. So you've got one there done at 13, one here at 29, another one here right on 45, and we've also completed an intermediate service on the car at 52,655. So you won't be due for a service until the 60,000 K book service is due. Thanks very much again for your inquiry on our 2010 Mitsubishi Lancer ES hatchback. Just to recap a couple of key points, it is a one owner car, full service history, excellent tyres and good condition inside and out. If you do have any further questions, please call us on 9907 555. Thanks again for watching.